How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, this is episode two of the Kansas City Royals franchise. You guys absolutely killed it in terms of support on the first episode. So let's continue that hot streak, that, you know, that amazing support. Let's make sure we hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content, as well as leave a comment down below what you guys think about the moves we're going to be making in today's video, who you think are going to be some integral parts of the team. And then in the description, there's my Twitter, there's my Twitch, there's all my social media, you know, like all my social medias and stuff like that. I've been streaming a lot on Twitch kind of later at night. Um, we've been doing a fantasy draft uh, franchise. We've been doing a, you know, we've been playing some Diamond Dynasty. So if you guys want to see, come hang out, you know, chat it up a little bit, see what we do outside of the channel. You know, go and give the Twitch go the, give the Twitch channel a follow um, and get notified whenever we do go live. So let's let's talk about this franchise. We've been talking about a minute, and we haven't even talked about what's going on in today's episode. So, free agents. We talked about some free agents. You guys made a crazy, crazy amount of comments on that. You made some really good um, points on why we should or shouldn't sign a certain player. Number one, Kyler Murray will not be signed. Stop commenting. You want to see Kyler Murray? Um, he's part of the A's organization so even if you were to pursue baseball as a career he's part of the a's organization so he's not a free agent he's not a player who can be signed next up you guys mentioned that eight potential prospects really aren't realistic for the royals you know they haven't really been known to go out and sign a crazy um, or a highly touted international prospect in the last couple years so i'm thinking yes we shouldn't go out and sign both a potential players but this is my thinking I'm going to go and sign Jason Dominguez because I don't see a center fielder in our farm system that gets me too excited. Khalil Lee in real life is one of the better rated prospects in the or in the Royals organization, but unfortunately, he's only got C potential, which is a little a little disappointing, but that's okay. This is where Jason Dominguez comes in. He's 18. The youngest he'll probably be when we're like he's MLB ready is probably 20 or 21. So we still have two or three seasons where we're not going to be able to use him. So I think in terms of having a player that's super exciting to watch, super exciting to grow, super exciting to be like, I can't wait to get him in the majors. This is that player. Jason Dominguez is our center fielder. And I I know this is going to happen. So we're going to get rid of Winston Abreu just because I don't want him. And then we have a crazy amount of catchers. So Allen, Day, San Miguel whatever your name is, you're going to be gone too. This is where Jason Dominguez comes in. We need a we need a center fielder who I'm kind of excited to work with, kind of excited to be like, I want this guy in the majors. That's our A potential prospect. And of course, he goes to the majors. Uh, um, for A, again, another player. Don't get me wrong. Robert looks like an amazing prospect. Good arm, good speed. The bat isn't there just yet. But he definitely is in the similar boat as Jason Dominguez. A potential. 18. 60 overall. So the youngest we'll probably see him in the majors is 20, 21. And you got to think about whenever they're really young and they get pulled up to the majors, they usually get a decrease in stats to start with. So even if he was 70 at the age of 20, by the time we pull him up to the majors, he's probably like a 68, 67. So I'm thinking, why don't we go for a player a little bit younger, a little bit better, not as high potentially, you know, but he's a little bit better fielder, similar speed. The bat's a little worse, but we can work around that. We can train that bat. And Yolbert Sanchez is a player that we could use in maybe a season or two. And that gets us excited about another prospect. So I think those are some solid moves for us. Yolbert Sanchez gets us excited for the future for a, a second baseman or a shortstop maybe even a third baseman and then we got jason dominguez who gets us excited for an outfield spot and i think for those two international signings we're, we're great right now looking at the outfield question jorge soler i was looking to trade but then i looked in real life soler is actually doing quite well and jorge bonifacio in triple a is doing very very poorly he's at Orioles Chris Davis levels. He is 0 for 30 in AAA. 0 for 30 to start the season. That is bad. That is very bad. So in real life, you know, Bonifacio is looking like a player who's not doing so well. Soler's kind of going up. Soler's and Bonifacio's going down. So I'm thinking Bonifacio gets traded to the Marlins. And I was considering the Astros trade, but then I saw that the two pitchers we looked at for the Astros were in their top 10 
in their farm system. Josh James is number four in their farm system and Valdez was number, I think like 10 or 11. So to trade one player for two of their top 10 prospects, not really realistic. So let's go to the Marlins. You know, the Marlins are still kind of rebuilding. They could use that right fielder. Um, and I feel like that's the best option there. So we're gonna go with that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Austin Bryce. And you're probably thinking, well, you still have some room to go. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, we definitely do. So my thinking is this, Roselle Herrera, a good utility player. Like he can play every single position. He's got a good, you know, a good, you know, a good array of stats. Hitting, again, is not necessarily there, but fielding wise, decent speed. Um, another player I looked at was JT Riddle, a little bit better with the bat, similar with the fielding stats, but I feel like Rosel Herrera, you know, he's a little bit younger, a little bit better. Let's go with that. And that's our trade. That's the one trade I was thinking of. That's the one trade that I'm going to go with. I think that's a good trade for us. And I think that works the best. So I'm going to get the lineup ready. I'm going to move our prospects down, bring up Roselle Herrera if he needs to be. And then we'll get this season started. We'll get to opening day with our Kansas City Royals. All right, to start the season, this is how we are looking. We got Billy Hamilton and Mondesi as our one, two, our speedy players. Next up, we got Whit Merrifield and Lucas Duda, O'Hearn, Salvador Perez, Hunter Dozier, Alex Gordon, and Chris Owings. Um, our left-handed DH spot, very similar, but we get Soler in the mix as well as um actually that's really the only change solaire gets into the mix compared to uh who who gets dropped o'hearn o'hearn is a player that doesn't play um versus righties he just doesn't hit righties actually hits righties he doesn't hit lefties well that's that's the there it is he doesn't hit lefties well very poorly actually um and then we got our bench of you know o'hearn maldonado and rosel herrera um from time to time so you know, the lineup, it doesn't look like we're going to be, you know, a playoff team or a, a World Series contender season one. But there are some exciting pieces. Um, looking at our pitching, we got Keller, Junis, Duffy, Hahn, and Lopez in the bullpen. We got Kennedy, Flynn, Hill, Storin, McCarthy, Bryce, Dinkman, and Boxberger. And you're probably thinking, we got a lot of bullpen arms. I'm, a, I'm not very... Um, confident in our bullpen. And that's kind of why I want a lot of options just in case you know we get in a tricky situation with a couple bullpen arms where we need to rely on certain players you know i have a you know i don't know if i'm going to be able to trust some of our pitchers to go deep into games so that's why we need these long relievers to kind of stay stand in and that's why we need that bullpen help you know who knows what's going to happen um but i think keller could be a great pitcher for us i think junis could be a good pitcher for us um jesse han potentially for a season or two, Jorge Lopez, kind of the same thing. Danny Duffy is really my question mark. We're paying him a lot of money. I need him to perform. Um, lineup wise, you know, Hamilton and Merrifeld, I'm hoping can, you know, get the bats going. Mondesi, I hope can be our superstar in a couple seasons. But that's really about it, guys. You know, I'm, I'm excited to see how this team does. We're taking on the White Sox opening day. So, yeah. Let's get into it. Let's see how opening day goes. But I am so excited for this game. It should be a good one. 2019 opening day against the Chicago White Sox. Home at Kauffman Stadium. I'm actually really psyched about this. I'm kind of I'm, I'm excited to see how things go with this Kansas City Royals team. I'm I'm excited. You know, I'm I'm really excited to see how Billy Hamilton does. Mondesi. Merrifield, we got Salvi playing this year, even though in real life he is injured. But I'm I'm excited. You know, I know it's gonna be difficult. We're gonna be playing on Hall of Fame. Um, if it's too easy, then we'll obviously bump it up to Legend. But here we are last year. We're at the bottom for almost everything. You know, in terms of ERA, saves, and pitching. You know, we have we have our our quote unquote ace in Keller taking the mound for us. They've got Irvin Santana. But uh, it should be a good game here. Oof, I'm psyched. So here's the Chicago White Sox lineup. They have Anderson, Sanchez, Abreu, Palka, Alonzo, Eloy Jimenez, Wellington Castillo, Yoan, Moncada. And I didn't get to the last one. We got Brad Keller on the mound for our opening day. 20 starts last year, 9-6 record. Pretty solid ERA, 3.08. 
It's respectable. Let's see if he can repeat that this season. We went with a little bit of an alternate jersey with the kind of the gold trim around the numbers and the hat um, rather than just the all white and blue that the Royals usually go with. I'm excited. We'll see how we line up defensively. We got Alex Gordon, Hamilton in center, and right we have Chris Owens. Third base, Dozier, Mondesi at short with Merrifield at second. Duda at first, I believe it is. And then behind the dish, we got Salvi. So it should be a good game. Um, it should be it should be a good one. Here we go. First pitch of the season. And we're going to start it off right here. And Tim Anderson goes down swinging on a horrible pitch down in the dirt. All right, not a bad start. And Yomer yanks it deep first pitch. No doubt about that one. I missed my spot for sure. And I was questioning if we were actually on Hall of Fame because... Tim Anderson swung at a horrible pitch. He didn't swing at two pitches that I missed my spot pretty pretty big. Like, I missed my spot by a lot. But Yomer takes first pitch fastball and just crushes it to right center field. There, there was no doubt about that one. That was absolutely destroyed. And I got to see where the spot was because, I, it, you know, the fastball missed. The fastball definitely missed. But, oh, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, he, it was missed by a bit. You know, I wanted it low and away. It ended up being way up in the zone. It's looking like we're going to make the th third out here. Easy play by Dozier, throwing it over to first. And it is, you know, some damage is done. Yomer takes us deep in the first that's what happens when you miss your spot. You're going to get taken advantage of. Here's how we are lining up today. Hamilton, Mondesi, Merrifield, Duda, O'Hearn, Salvador Perez, Dozier, Owens, and Alex Gordon. Rounding up the lineup. Irving Santana's on the mound for the White Sox. Five games last year, 0-1 on the record. And a pretty high ERA with eight. Hopefully we can, you know, we can put our bats, get the bats going. And, uh, you know, get some offense rolling. You know, I want I want the offense to get going. We're going to need it. You know, like I said, I'm not too confident in the way our pitching staff looks like. So we're definitely we're definitely going to need to score some runs. So hopefully, you know, our two or one two punch of Hamilton and Mondesi can get us started off right. One two count. That was a strike. Oh, and I was late on it. I got jammed. Alrighty, 2-2. Two, two. Bottom of the first. Can Wit keep us alive here? Oh, it's going to be a little pop-up. In foul territory, and that's the inning. No good contact on any pitches. I don't, I don't know. That looked like a ball to me, but I'll take it for sure. And he's going to somehow dink it into center field for a base hit you, what <sighs> really yonder alonzo is just gonna somehow take that pitch high and tight fastball we get the strike there okay one one count not too much speed on first so anything on the ground should be a double play and it's looking like we may just turn it here merrifield to mondesi there we go double play turned just what the doctor ordered. Perfect. We gotta get a. We gotta get the out here. We can't keep the inning alive. There it is. Change up inner part of the plate, and he goes down looking. Still a one-run game here. Going into the bottom of the second. And Duda takes one in the hip. Looks like a slider. Got away from Irving Santana. And we got a man on first now. I mean, it just looks like it gets away from him. Duda wears it. Kind of takes it off the butt. Hunter Dozier's up. Salvi 
you know, late hit, late weak hit, pops it up to second. So it's looking like our leadoff runner is just not. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Duda's going to stay at second. Dozier first pitch swinging. Takes it up the middle. We got first and second, two outs. Maybe a little late, you know, just a, maybe some, some, you know, two out magic is going to happen this inning. Couldn't think about what I was going to say. We got Alex Gordon up. And that is going to be the inning. You know, just a week. Oh, he throws it away. He throws it away. Keeps the inning alive. Moncada throws it away at third. Okay. All right. That 100% should have been the inning. We got Chris Owings up. All righty. 0-1 count. Come on, Chris Owings. And I get under it. Uh, pops it up behind the dish. Bases loaded. Not able to take advantage of it. We need to hit our spots. We need to start throwing a couple more strikes. Should be a strike there right down the, you know, right down the heart of the plate. Can't, can't be doing that. But we did need a strike. 3-1 with the slider. It's going to get away. And we're going to have a, you know, basically a five-pitch walk. Lead off runner on. He's got a little bit of speed. So it's definitely not the best. We do get Lurie Garcia to pop up this or fly out to center. We get one out. So, all right. We kind of rebound a little bit. And Tim Anderson got a hold of this one. But we should be okay. Billy Hamilton's got the wheels to cover a lot of space in center field. To cover the gaps. And two flyouts to center here. Yolmer, the guy who's done the damage for the Sox, takes a first pitch strike. It's not first pitch swinging this time. And it's going to squeeze through. Whit Merrifield can't make the play at second. Oh, just barely out of the reach of the second baseman. Two for two for Yolmer Sanchez. Who would have thought? White Sox hero right now, keeping the inning alive. I thought maybe Yomer, or not Yomer, Witt would have been able to make the play. Just unfortunately, he could not there. You know, the bat, you know, he's got that power. So we got to be careful here. Hits it to third. We're going to toss it over to second. That's the inning. And no damage done there. So we, we had our base runners in the last inning. Let's see if we can uh, actually score this time. We need to put some something together. Can't, can't keep letting this game slip away. And this should be an easy play for Tim at short. And it is another 1-2-3 inning for us. And it is a base hit for... I want to say that was Polka. Somehow just gets a piece of it. You know, we missed our spot again. Daniel Polka is going to take it up the middle. 50 speed on first. Missed it. I mean, Polka's got some power, so we're lucky he didn't take that deep. Man on first to lead off the inning for the White Sox. Yonder Alonso was able to poke one up the middle last time. So, hopefully, maybe we can keep it on the ground and get a double play here. And that's just what we're talking about. And it's looking like the second double play is going to be turned for us Royals. Mondesi to Merrifield this time. Merrifield throws it over to first. Easy as you like. And Salvador Perez, is that going to get down? It is. 18 speed. Rounding first. Should end up here with a double. Could be a little close, but he is going to slide in head first. And a two out double keeps the inning alive for the Royals. High fastball, looks like, and he's able to put it to the gap in right center field. Nice double, first of the season for the catcher, and it keeps us alive here in the fourth. Can Hunter Dozier, you know, can he deliver? Base hit should score Salvi, so we should be good. And he pokes it to first. 73 speed is not going to be able to beat it out. I wasn't sure about the pitch. And you got to swing if it's close. 
And unfortunately, no runs score. Alrighty, one two count to Tim Anderson here. Can we go high fastball? Misses the spot. Works it two to two. Two and two. Change up down in the zone. Catches too much of the plate. It's going to be a line based hit. Lined base hit in the right. And again, when you miss your spots, they're going to take advantage of it. He takes that 2 2 pitch into right field. Yolmer's up two for two on the day. First pitch swinging again. Luckily, he misses this time. It seems like every time he puts the ball on the bat, it's causing some trouble. Ooh, O'Hearn's there. Can we turn two? It's looking like we will. And it's the third time today. The White Sox ground into a double play. And heading into the bottom of the fifth. You know, only two hits on the day. We need to get these bats going. Keller's been pitching well. It's just the offense that's been struggling. Already 1-0 count to Billy. And that is not, it's just not good enough. It's too close to second base. And there it is, a ground out. 0 oh, for 3 days so far for Billy Hamilton. And offense, no offense. We're not going to score. Starts it off with the fastball to Yonder Alonso. So far, so good. We're going to go back to a fastball. Two seam this time. And he hits it over to O'Hearn. Tosses it over to Keller. And we have a 1-2-3 inning, a bottom of six. Mondesi leading off for us. Can we get something going? We, we got to. Not the best of start there. Whit Merrifield gets jammed. Third baseman's coming over. Moncada's there. And Whit gets thrown out at first. We're going to challenge it, though. You know, from the way... The way it looked, it seemed like he may have beaten it out. Let's see. It's close. It really is. I don't know. I really don't know. You know, jam hit. Moncada gets to it, throws it over to Wit, Or throws it over to first. Does Wit beat it out? I don't. And he is. What's the call? What's the call? Ooh, he is safe. All right. Alrighty, we got a base runner here in the first. Witt beat it out. We got Duda up now. Unfortunately, wasn't able to get, you know, the best of contact with that swing. And okay, pitch pitch out again. They're just too worried about Witt. Come on, Ryan. 0 for 2 on the day. Let's see if our first baseman can get his season started. And it's just unable to. Just not able to get any good contact on any of these pitches it seems like every time we put the bat on the ball it's a pretty weakly hit pitch so we're gonna see if Keller can get through seven we got Eloy up first pitch strike generous call but we will take it oh two count high fastball and it's gonna be a pop-up to first easy play one up one down here we go all right, he's worked it full, even better. Got Hunter Dozier on deck. Can we get something this inning? Little early on the fastball. Tim Anderson bobbles it and then throws it away. Unfortunately, you know, I'm just going to keep it. Keep it at the single. Leave it there. You know, two errors by Tim Anderson on that play. Gets us a lead off runner. Hunter Dozier's up one for two on the day. All right. Okay, maybe this is our inning so far. Here we go. And Dozier hits a gap shot. The hanging slider. Does Salvi have the speed to get home? We're going to send him. 18 speed coming from first. And it's looking like he's going to stand up. Getting into home. And Dozier delivers with a double here Ooh, the slider hung just great hit into left center gap and it works out the third baseman delivers with his second hit of the day this time an rbi double makes it a one-to-one -one game now the inning the, hey we're we're threatening now it's you know no out still we got alex gordon up there we go all right all right here we go 
strikes out on the slider. One out, still got a man in scoring position though. And Chris Owens, who's 0 for 2 on the day. Let's see if our right fielder can, you know, can give us a lead. You know, base hit, probably scores him. You know, we got 78 speed on second. Gets by him. 73 speed is on third now. A wild pitch by Irving Santana. The slider gets away from him. And uh, all right, 73 speed now on third. Come on. Let's, let's just put it in play. Ah, uh, it's not going to. It just doesn't get through. It, maybe if it's hit to the, I don't know. It, it it's, not, it's just not hit well enough. That's basically what it came down to. Got on top of the changeup, was early on it. Just poorly hit. Still got the guy in scoring position. Maybe Billy Hamilton can deliver for us. Down the first baseline, and it's foul. Ooh. Just early on that one. Does it get through? Come on. 97 speed. Does he beat it out? He does. Infield single for Billy Hamilton on a pitch outside of the zone. Just gets it past Irving Santana. And with his speed, that was going to be a base hit. No doubt about it. It's just too quick. Tim Anderson can't react quick enough. And there we go. We take the lead 2-1 to one on a Billy Hamilton hit. Infield single. What a way. To give us the lead. We got Mondesi up next. You know, it's Billy Hamilton. We got to send him, right? High fastball. Oh, that's second base all day. Now we got a runner in scoring position. And we're we're threatening. We're threatening. And I don't think he is. I think it's going to be a fly out to left field. But that is okay. We take the lead. Thanks to two runs in the bottom of the seventh. Going into the eighth. We have a lead for the first time today. Let's see if we can close it out. Hey, we're going to bring in Drew Storen. Because they do have kind of a, a string of hitters who don't hit righties well. Um, I normally would have had Jake Diekman in to be the setup man. But, you know, since they don't hit righties well, I felt like we should go with a righty. And so far, it's panning out for us pretty well. One up, one down. So, let's see how this goes. Let's see how it goes. Should be go, you know, should be going well. He has a hit so far on the day. See if we can make him two for four. And it looks like he is. Rips it up the middle. First pitch swinging. He's got himself his second single. And another leadoff runner for us. So, so far so good. And it's looking like that's the inning on top of the changeup. And it's a ground out for Salvi. But going into the ninth. Two to one ball game. Can we hold on on opening day here at Kaufman Field? Alrighty, with a string of lefties, we're gonna bring in Deekman. Um, see how this pans out. Facing Yonder Alonso, Daniel or Daniel Polka, Yonder Alonso, and then they do have Eloy. So that is that is kind of scary. But we'll have to see how it goes. One one count though. So far, it's looking okay. Nice fastball up in the zone. Got to be careful. Daniel Polka definitely has some power. And he looks at strike three. Sinker down in the zone. And Diekman records the first out here in the ninth. All right. Yonder Alonso to third. Hunter Dozier makes the play. Two up, two down. They do have Eloy Jimenez up. But Jake Diekman, you know, he's, he's feeling all right. He's feeling all right. Let's see if we can get it. the third out here. Splitter. A little bit too much of the zone there. Way too much of the zone. Got to be careful. Nice little slider. Just misses there. All right. Got to be careful. Got to be careful for sure. And he swings up the middle. And they do now have a base runner. Fastball caught too much of the zone. Eloy Jimenez takes it up the middle. And a two-out base runner keeps the White Sox alive here in the ninth. They're going to bring on a pinch runner. And Adam Angle definitely has got some speed. Wellington Castillo's up. So you know what? <sighs> We're going to bring in Brad Boxberger. We're going to go to the righty. Righty, righty matchup. See how this goes. Not going to lie. 
it's coming down it's, it's coming down to the wire it definitely is you know crazy situation o or 2-0 count now we gotta throw a strike gotta throw a strike he's gonna have second oh is he gonna throw him out does he sneaks in Ooh, runner on second now if we would have um slide step it would have 100 percent being out get down go foul go foul Ooh, two two count now two outs change up down in the zone and he gets him looking boxberger comes in to get the strikeout to end the game and we finish two to one here on opening day in kaufman field stadium kaufman stadium kaufman stadium Billy Hamilton coming in the clutch beats out the little dribbler he hit to get that second run in in the bottom of the eighth Brad Keller solid outing from him one run over what was it seven innings six innings very good very good outing from him and overall offense little little quiet little quiet but you know what I'm gonna take it you know six hits wish it was a little bit more we do get the win and that's all that matters Keller picks up his first of the season and uh whew, it came down to the wire but we did get the win alrighty so after day one of MLB action a two to one victory for our Royals thanks to a amazing performance by Brad Keller he does allow seven hits but only one run two strike two strikeouts and a walk solid performance from our starter bullpen closed the door yolmer sanchez for the white Sox are the only run and then obviously a double from dozier brought in i think it was merrifield and then obviously we also had a you know a crazy crazy hit by billy hamilton just using his speed to uh beat out the the, the poorly hit grounder that uh, Tim Anderson just wasn't able to field quickly enough. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always, leave some comments. Let me know what you guys thought of today's episode, what you guys want to see for future episodes. And as you know, just let's get involved with this series. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.